Hey everybody, John Jackson here, Lease Option Classes. I am incredibly excited to introduce you to somebody that you may not be familiar with. Uh, his name is Ted Thomas, and he's been around for a long time. I mean, many, many, many years. Yeah, look at his hair. <laughs> he's been around a long time. Um, but uh, he has a, a tremendous amount of respect from people in our space and education space in the real estate space. And so I'm incredibly excited to, to bring uh, uh, Ted in here and introduce him to you all and talk about what he does and what he's known for in this space. And honestly, I'm a little shocked and embarrassed that I haven't introduced you all to Ted before, but nevertheless, uh, here we are. So um, uh, Ted's gonna be talking to us about tax lien certificates. And what exactly are tax lien certificates? What creates a tax lien certificate? Uh, how do you make, how do you profit off tax lien certificates and all that stuff? But first, <laughs> before we get into the tax lien certificates, I want to say hello, Ted, and thank you uh, for joining us, sir. Well, you're welcome, JJ. I'm glad to be here. And folks, uh, my name is Ted Thomas. I've been doing the same thing for 30 years, if you can imagine. I've been around the real estate business for more than 50 years. So I've done everything from lease options to foreclosures to you name it. And uh, I love the real estate business, but I discovered tax defaulted property, tax liens and tax deeds about 30 years ago. And when I found out that I could buy property for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar and not have a mortgage and not have a deed of trust on it, I said, I think I better look at this. And I did, and I never looked back after that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I've asked JJ to ask me a few questions about it. I'll answer them. We're going to educate you a little bit. And we're actually going to do four educational videos over the next four days. And we're going to educate you guys. And we're going to get drilled right down deep. And then we're going to tell you about some fun things that we're going to do in the future. So my name is Ted Thomas. And here goes JJ with all the questions. He, he's been writing questions out for days. Yeah, I've got, so I've got lots of questions. And uh, as a matter of fact, not only do I have questions, but I've got them printed off, Ted. And not just print it off, but uh, I've got them printed off in uh, 14 point type, okay? Because nice, that's nice. the way sometimes people yeah. like you and I need things, right? You know, big yeah, and yeah. Uh, Now, for everybody watching here, uh, first thing I want to say, write this down, guys. I want you taking notes. I want you writing down stuff. Uh, and the very first thing I want you to write down is this date, August 27th. That's all you need to know. August 27th. Uh, it's the day that's going to change your life. Ted will be talking about that. But here we go. Yeah. With tax lien certificates. Ted, I'm just so excited to have you here, sir. Thank you. So, Thank you. Yeah, so you're in the tax lien business. And as we all know, there's different niches in real estate, fix and flip, lease options, uh, 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 um, uh, seller finance, anything. You, however, are considered the absolute expert in tax lien certificates. So uh, you know, let me just ask this uh, right off the bat. What is a tax lien certificate? All right, good. That's a good place to start, actually. Um, so every property in the United States has a tax on it. Now, what is the tax all about? It's a property tax. It comes from the old school of having wealth tax. So wealth used to be real estate. Today, it's probably information or something like that. But now, now it's information. Then it was the wealth of the rich. So the real estate is taxed. All right, generally speaking, taxes are about 1% or 2%. They're really not very high, except in New York and California, it can be a little high. But basically, tax liens are a result of people not paying their tax. So keep in mind, in the whole United States, we have a little over 3,000 counties. And of those 3,000 counties, about half of them sell tax lien certificates. Now think of those as being very benevolent states that sell tax lien certificates. The other half of the states sell tax deeds. All right, now a tax deed, what that means is the person didn't pay the tax. And what the government is about to do is they're about to confiscate take the property away from the people. They're gonna seize the property and they're gonna sell it at auction. Whereas a tax lien certificate, very benevolent, what they do is they say, all right, you didn't pay your tax, I'm gonna slap your hand and they're gonna issue a piece of paper, just, just a piece of paper like this one. And the piece of paper says tax lien on it and they're gonna issue a tax lien. All right, now what do they do with these tax liens? Well, now the property only has a lien and encumbrance against their property. So what do they do with it? They sell them at auction. And there's thousands of them. And I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you thousands. A place like Tampa, Florida, maybe have 40,000 certificates. A place like Miami may have 60,000. All right, place Mecklen. It, it doesn't matter where you are. They're going to have lots of these certificates to sell. 
All right, so the certificates, they earn powerful interest rates, 16, 18, 24, all the way up to 36% interest. So here's what happens with the tax lien. The local person doesn't pay the tax. You and I, all the people watching, we're investors. So we want to buy a tax lien. In other words, we're going to pay someone else's taxes. Now, I know you don't want to pay someone else's taxes, but the government's selling them. So I'm going to pay the government. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the tax certificate. When I do, I get the piece of paper. Now, that means I control the property. Now, I'm ahead of the mortgage. I'm ahead of the IRS. I'm ahead of everybody. So now I, now I control that property. All right. Now, if I bought a tax certificate in the state of Florida, it would pay 18%. If I bought one in Arizona, 16%, you're kind of getting the idea. Now, I'm going to show you later, and in three minutes, how in Texas, you can make 25% on one of these certificates in just a few months. All right, so the tax lien certificate is in half of the states. The other half of the states, they sell a tax deed. They're not so benevolent. They're just going to take the property away. So that kind of gives you a little basic understanding of it. Now, there's a lot of nuances in between, and not to worry, we'll cover them all right on this video. So I'm taking notes here. There are so many. Uh, wow. This is a fire hose of information, people. All right. So um, let's back up a little bit, Ted. Before we get to the certificate, let's talk about the, def the, the tax defaulted property. Are these typically, and then we'll dive into where the, the tax certificate comes in. So the tax defaulted property, um, is this, and I'm sure you've seen them all across the board. Is this something that <clears throat> excuse me, it's usually a, uh, a lean to type of piece of garbage or is it uh, oh. in the houses? Cause now I'm, I start, I'm at first Ted, I'm thinking lean to piece of crap. And I'm like, wait a minute. I bet there's a lot of people in million dollar homes that ew, haven't paid their taxes. Well, yeah. I mean, I bought, uh, I bought <laughs> in the woodlands in Texas, we're going to say the woodlands is all good property. So I bought in Dallas and it was good property. So here's what happens with uh, tax defaulted property. All right. Across the United States, there's going to be at least 3,000 tax auctions that you don't even know about. So there's going to be thousands of these properties that are coming up. Now, tax properties that come up for tax auction are going to be used and abused. They're going to be junk. And they're going to be properties you touch them up and you can move into. So they could be a country club property. There could be a property over on the bad side of town. And the beauty of this business is you can always look and know what you're going to buy. Everything is disclosed ahead of time. So obviously, don't buy junk. Buy basic property where the people are going to come in and pay the taxes. As a matter of fact, if you buy the, the property, you want to get the best one you can. Why do you want to do that? Because if you buy a tax certificate and you don't get paid, you get the property without a mortgage. You get the property without a mortgage. How good is that? And all you paid was the amount of the tax certificate. So you either get paid with a tax certificate or you get the property. It's a wonderful investment. You can't give any money to Ted Thomas. You invest with the government. You get a check back from the government. Your worst case, 16, 18, 24, 25% interest, or you get the property. Pretty nice. Well, this is... Uh, um... <laughs> All I can think about is August 27th now, because now you got me excited. I'm, I want, I want yeah. 20, hurry to get to it's August It's going to 20. get better. We'll get better every yeah. day. Every day we do so, this, we'll get better. So, um, all right. So I understand that the default, the tax defaulted property. Uh, is is the government taking someone's house away? Is that what oh, they're saying? So yeah. the, 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 the states that sell a tax deed, they take the property away. They're confiscating it. But with a tax lien certificate, the people stay in the house for the full length of their time. So in Florida, if, you, if they sold the tax certificate, it's for two years. So you pay the first year. When the second year comes up, you pay the second year. The same people are still in the house. They never left. They never left the house. They got two years to pay you. So you could be earning interest at the highest rate in Florida at the rate of 18%. How about that? Wait till I tell you about Texas. You're not even going to believe it. So is is a uh, uh, I've got so many questions about about wiping out the liens and all this stuff. But is that uh, as we go, as we dive into this, Ted? I mean, is this a uh, like I consider what I do to be brain dead simple with the lease options? Is the is the tax lien certificate business? Is it? Do you consider is it kind of technical? Is it complicated or or? Well, this this came along way before 
doing lease options and all that. This came along with the original pilgrims when they originally, they brought it from England because certain people, their crop could failed or they couldn't sell any pigs and they couldn't, and they couldn't sell. So what they did is they confiscated the property and put it back out into the market. So this was invented when people couldn't read and write. So this is a very simple business. Here's how simple a tax certificate is. They're gonna announce a tax auction. Let me show you a typical tax. Auction. I'm just gonna take a, a newspaper here. All right, so this is, a, this is a tax auction for Tampa, Florida. Okay, now this newspaper's got 40,000 tax certificates in it. 40,000 are listed here. Okay, let me open it up. There's nothing, no, no pay, there's nothing else but tax certificates in there. All right, so you get it. You can pick any one in here. Just pick one like that and you can buy it. All right, so you just raise your hand. I want number so-and-so. The number, by the way, is the property number of the property. The assessor's parcel number. There's the tax number. So you get the tax number. Look it up on your computer. I want to buy that one. Okay, so you can buy it. All right, now if the people don't pay you, you get the property. If they do pay you, in Florida, you can earn anywhere from zero all the way up to 18% on the certificate. Depends upon what size you bid. So some people some people bid right at 18%. So, so the point is, okay, here's another one. This is, um, this is let's see, uh, this is Duval County. This is Jacksonville, Florida. And look, look at how many tax lien certificates they have. 30,000 just in Jacksonville. So in Florida, they'll have 1 million certificates available Every year, one million. This is enough for all of us. You can buy as many as you want. Is okay. So, wow. Okay. So, yeah. If, if, let me ask you: Do the do, these are this is when we're talking about tax certificates? This is the state, not federal, correct? No, this is that uh, we're only talking about property tax, and it's not even okay. state; okay. it's county. Let's do, we can do Dallas County if you want. Okay. We can do Harris County if you want. For example, Harris County has a tax default at auction every month. So I've been going to tax auctions for 30 years. So in Harris County, they will have 200 properties. Now Harris County doesn't sell tax liens. They sell tax deeds. So they confiscate the property. So before they confiscate it, what they do is they tell the property owner, we're selling a tax deed today. And if you decide to go to Harris County and buy it, you raise your hand, you pay for the certificate, but the certificate is a deed, but it's a redeemable deed. So they, you can't get the property yet. You have to wait 180 days. So anytime in the 180 days that the, the property owner can come in and pay, it's a redeemable deed. They have to pay you, listen to this, a minimum of what you paid plus 25%. In all 250 counties in Texas, they have to pay you a 25%. If they pay you in one day, they have 180 days, but if they pay you in one day, they owe you whatever you paid, 25%. So this goes in, I don't wanna go, we could talk about this forever. I'm so excited about this. <clears throat> uh, a friend of mine, yeah. guys, I assume so does, does uh, tax, property tax loans. And so when people can't pay the property tax, he, he, they can, he will loan them the money and it's a pretty high rate. I don't remember what it was, it was pretty high. But that's, so having said that, you buy someone's tax deed in Texas anyway, yeah. uh, and um, you, don't own it, you don't own the property yet, if the owner of the property goes and even gets a tax loan, they well, then now that tax what they what you're owed is not what the taxes was. It's that plus twenty five percent. Yeah, you're owed. If you raise your hand in Houston like this and say, "I'll take number seven seven seven," they say sold. Okay, and they're going to sell you the deed to the property. You're going to actually get the deed. You can go to those people and say, "Hey, look, I'm going to have to fix the roof. It's got a leak in it." You can go fix the roof. And you, can, you, you can't throw them out or anything like that. The people are going to stay there. They get 180 days to come in and pay whatever you paid. And if you did any repairs, they're going to have, so they have to come in and pay. If they don't come in and pay, you get the property. But if they do come in and pay, now you know 98, 99% of the people are going to come in and pay. So they're going to give you back all your money plus 25%. Well, are you going to make 25% on a real estate deal in six months? Well, you know, talking about profit, which, I realize it's a it's a, it's a broad uh, yeah yeah target, but but on average, I mean, what 
so the people are following me, my, my followers, my fans, what can they anticipate to, to make? Can they do a, and I don't know, can they make it, do a $25,000 deal? Uh, or is that even impossible? Oh, yeah. well, well, here's what we teach people to do. We teach people, all right, we're going to teach you about tax liens, every basic, that's easy. We're also going to teach you about tax liens. So if it's a real estate investor, they're, they're kind of a little, a little bit, um, uh, they say, oh, how could this happen? How could that? But every county in the United States has no choice. It's mandated by the legislature that they have a tax auction every year. In other words, people die and they just leave the house there. You'd have empty houses all over the place deteriorating. So the government says nobody paid the tax. They confiscate it. The government doesn't want the house. So they put it up for auction. The starting bid at a tax auction is the back taxes. The starting bid is always the back tax. So we teach me, all right, let's go to Michigan. You got a hundred thousand dollar house, okay? All right, the back taxes are six grand. If you can buy that house for six grand, all right, you give your money to the county, they give you the deed to the property. Now you can do anything you want with it. But if you're a smart cookie, you're gonna put it up for a lease option so the guy can get in for a low price, and then you're gonna sell it that way. But if you're not, if you don't know any better, you got a you got a property that's worth a hundred thousand, you bought it for six thousand, sell it for sixty thousand. So buy it low, sell it low, buy it low, sell it low, and move on to the next one. And there's plenty of properties for everybody. So I told you about Houston a minute ago. What if I show, well, I'll show you something. I usually don't do this until video. I'm just reaching over to my other desk over here. All right. So the people that are watching your video are not going to believe this. This is the auction list. This is the auction list for Los Angeles. I know you don't believe me, but there's, you can just read it on the cover. Wow. There'll be anywhere from 15, Los Angeles, fifth wealthiest county in the United States. They're going to have 1,500 to 2,000 properties every year. This is a big, I usually don't even show that until the third video that we do, because people just say, oh my God, this can't be. You see, it's so unbelievable. People don't believe us. So if I put an ad in the paper, nobody will believe the ad. Is Wow, this is this is August 27th, people. Just right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, we spend a whole day on August 27th. We're going to start at 11 in the morning. We're going to go until five at night. We never stop. So, someone getting started in taxing certificates, do they need a lot of money to get started, or do they need a lot of access to a lot of capital, or can they get started with a, a smaller amount, right. say a thousand, five hundred? I, I don't know what. To... You know, money helps everything. It helps your marriage. It helps your sex life. It helps your fun <laughs> life. It helps everything. Problem is, nobody's got any money, right? All right, so you want to be able to start for 50 or 100 bucks. You can buy a tax lien. It'll be about a sliver about that wide next to some guy's house that he, you know, the, the, the developer left over. You don't want that. You want to be, you don't want the corner of a freeway. You don't want any of that stuff. That, all right, you want to buy something reasonable. So I'm going to give you the opposite of what I just gave you. All right, this is the opposite. All right, so I've got a client up here in Georgia. His name is B.R. Baker. Okay, I taught him how to do it. He called me up and he said, Ted, I'm sending you a picture of a house that's at the tax auction. So I open up the picture on my, my phone. I look at it. I saw it's a cute little house. It's a little 50-year-old, two-bedroom, one-bath. Lots of fruit trees around it, about an acre and a half. I said, what's the deal? He said, it's coming up for auction. He said, matter of fact, the auction was yesterday. I said, well, why didn't you go? He said, I didn't believe it. I said, what do you mean you didn't believe it? He said the starting bid was $316 in back taxes. I said, and you didn't go? I said, go back down there and see if they didn't sell it. So he went back down there, they didn't sell it. So he offered him $316 for a two bedroom, one bath. Then he called me back. He said, I got it. He said, what should I do now? And I said, sell it. Now I like to sell stuff. A lot of other people, they prefer to get out there and do, you know, they want to do rental properties and all that. He said, no, no, I don't sell stuff. I want to buy stuff. I said, oh, my God. I said, okay, well, what do you want to do? He said, why don't I rent it? I said, okay, now I'm in Florida. And he said, what should I rent it for? I said, I'm not Georgia. I don't know what to rent it. I said, go, go around and ask the neighbors what the rental for. So he said, seven, call me back. He said, $700. Next day, a kid walks in, bangs on the door. I'm going to show you a picture of this in a minute. Kid bangs on the door and said, my dad just gave me 6000 for rent for the whole year because I'm getting married and I'm going back to college. It is, I'll rent the house for $6,000. And he called me back, should I take it? Is it legal? I said, can you take it? Have you got a deed? He said, yeah. 
I said, take the money. So the kid went in and said, oh, you got to paint this. You got to fix that. So he spent a thousand bucks, 1500 fixing it up. You got six. Now I never bought a house for 300 bucks. Look, Thanksgiving dinner is going to cost more than 300 bucks, whether you stay in or go out. I mean, so that's how, yeah. Yeah. that's how this business is. So it, it, once we start teaching you, it just gets better and better and better. I want you. So let's do one more question then take a yeah. break because we're going to do a few of these videos and we want to make sure people come back and watch the next one tomorrow because it'll be better than today. All right, I, I got I got last I got a last one here. Uh, actually, I've got I've got two that'll kind of merge together here, Ted. So you get the tax lien certificate, okay? Um, and the, the, you have, there's two options: the the owner can pay you for that tax lien yep. certificate, right? That you bought, uh, or if he doesn't, then then you own the property. Is that right? Exactly. You own the property without a mortgage because it attacks it wipes all everything out. It wipes all the, the things like a foreclosure does, except the foreclosure doesn't wipe out a loan, but that's a tax right. lien certificate wipes out the deed of trust. That's right, because it's because a foreclosure doesn't wipe out all loans. Because like I always right. say, I don't search this for uh when the hedge funds and I had to look to see what was on there to see what was gonna be wiped out or not. And so if these these if these taxpayers aren't well it's a no it's a no lose situation i'm just thinking out loud here ted so if the, if the homeowner won't pay the the government for their taxes what makes you, you think they would pay you for the tax lien certificate because i don't even care if they pay me for the tax certificate matter of fact if i get one i go home and pray that he doesn't pay or she doesn't pay because the government's going to award me the property i'm going to show you an example of that right now all right so on the screen everybody else can see a couple, okay, now the couple they can see on the screen spent $11,000, remember that number. Okay, but before they bought it, I said, go out and look at the property. Turns out it's a nice condominium on the water in Phoenix. Now on the water in Phoenix is like, you know, being in heaven, right? So they bought a nice condo. The value of the condo, according to Zillow, was $180,000. The people never paid their tax. These guys got the property for 11,000. They sold it for 180000 and they made $169,000 on that purchase. They bought a defaulted tax lien certificate, did not get paid. And when they didn't get paid, the judge said, well, the people didn't pay you, signed it off. They now own the property. They sold it on Zillow for 180000 For every dollar they put in, they got $17 back. Absolutely unbelievable. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and and making yourself up i mean it's it sounds silly but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit you know this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want it's a lot easier than you think it's not it's not so scary once you know okay you can just ask these questions and yeah. We turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. For we were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then, after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property, and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. That happens every day in the tax lien and deed business and America doesn't know about it. So let me sign off for a minute, folks. 
We're going to do a few of these videos. Listen, just write down the 27th of August. I do a one day all day. If you're getting some information now, just imagine what I can give you in one day. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. You're just going to see a few new things on the screen that are a little different than most people get to see. But uh, we did a little research. Actually, I didn't do it. My assistant, Linda, did the research. And she checked with Tarrant County and also in Dallas County. It's surprising to see how many properties come up for tax auction. Now, in the state of Texas, they do the auction every month. So same kind of thing in Dallas. A lot of auctions going on here. Okay, I'm talking about 40 properties in May, 50 in June, July, another 50. In August, 57 pro pro properties. So you're getting the idea. So we just picked out one. This one here had an adjusted value of $95,000. And the starting bid was $8,688. What's my point? Folks, you're seeing the pictures of the properties. This is not a junk business. You can pick what you want. Now, I tell people not to buy junkers, but expect used and abused, but expect some just need a paint job and clean up and go make some money. Okay, we'll see you on the next video.